So what were your thoughts when you initially heard there was going to be this spin -off? Thank you. Never happened. That was my first thought. Like, nice thought. I would love to explore this character more because he's so dynamic and, you know, what is his origin and, um, and he's such a multifaceted character and an anti-hero. Let's do it. But I didn't think it would ever come to, to reality. And now, and now we are steeped in production and uh, bouncing between the both shows. And um, it's fun. It's a lot of work, but it's, it's fun. You know, I feel like I'm in season one of Blacklist again, where we're figuring out a new show and figuring out the character again and figuring out where we're going to go. Now, I'm hearing Tom was supposed to die in this. Tom was supposed to die in the pilot. Then they were going to kill me at the end of season one. And I told the Johns, I was like, thank you guys for always trying to kill me at every chance, every uh, possible opportunity. But um, no, we, you know, they, they wrote a really interesting character. And I, I found a lot of uh, fun sides to try to explore with it. And I just feel like exploring this character who was an orphan, who was apparently killed when he was a child, but obviously not as he's alive. And now, how did he get here? Was trained his whole life to be a spy has no relationship to his parents or family or any of that kind of stuff, is now maybe meeting his mother for the first time, but she's maybe a villain. I mean, there's all this mixed up stuff that's really fun to explore. I mean, that's the beauty of Blacklist, is that there's all that subtext and all that figuring out what do you mean and what, you know, um, uh, is someone representing themselves how they truly are or not? And, and our relationship, Scotty and I's, Fomka and I's relationship is fraught with that because I'm basically going in undercover to investigate this woman almost to figure out what the truth is and what she's doing with this Halcyon company um, and not tell her that I know that she is my mother when all you want to do probably is be like mom give me a hug you know we're really our own show even though Ryan is being spun up obviously and um, but it's very much more of a spy show. It's fun, it's thrilling, it's very international. We're going all over the place. And there's the, the parent-child unknown situation going on here. Um, but a different setup in that Brian's character, Tom Keen, already knows that I'm potentially his mother. Um, I just don't know. Uh, that he is potentially my son. Can anyone really be trusted on this show? I'm not sure you can. I mean, you're dealing with a, 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 a bunch of mercenaries. You're dealing with people who take on very uh, morally ambiguous jobs. So they're not the most trustworthy of people to begin with.